For today's video, we are going to talk about derivation of quadratic formula using completing the square. And we are going to use the standard form of quadratic equation to derive the quadratic formula. As you can see, we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. This will be the standard form of quadratic equation. On the other side will be the quadratic formula that is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So the first thing that we're going to do is to move C on the other side of the equation. So this will be AX squared plus BX equals negative C. And then let us divide the whole equation by A. So let us cancel this one. This will be X squared plus BX over A equals negative C over A. And we are going to make this side of equation as a perfect square trinomial. So we are going to add an expression on both sides of the equation. Since the coefficient of x that is b over a, let us divide this one by 2, we are going to have b over 2a, that is 2 times a. And then let us square this one, b over 2a raised to 2, that is b square over 4a square so we are going to add b square over 4a square on both sides of equation and then let us factor this one so the square root of x square that is x sine of the middle term is positive and then square root of b square is b square root of 4a square that is 2a and then square and then let's have the LCM of A and 4A square, that is 4A square. If you're going to divide 4A square, divide by A, that is simply 4A. And 4A multiplied by negative C, that is negative 4AC. And 4A square divided by 4A square, that is 1, multiplied by B square, that is B square. So I'm going to rearrange this one. I'm going to write x plus b over 2a square equals b square minus 4ac all over 4a square. And to simplify, I'm going to square both sides of the equation. Let us cancel this one. It will give us x plus b over 2a and the square root of b square minus 4ac that is positive and negative square root of b square minus 4ac. And the square root of 4a square, that is 2a. And the next step that we're going to do is to move b over 2a on the other side of equation. So I'm going to write as x equals, if you're going to move this one, it becomes negative. That is negative b over 2a plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Since we have the same denominator, let us just simply copy the denominator, and then let us rewrite the numerator that's negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac. And this will be the quadratic formula. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.